Greetings everyone, and Grade here from another Comp Heroes, not Comp Heroes, Age of Empires 3 replay. Spawn on the bottom right side as the yellow Japanese Canadian. Spawn on the bottom side as the red Ottoman, we have Elmo. Spawn on the north side as the Magenta US of A, we have V. And spawn as the red Mexicans, we have Slav for El Ella, I think. Slav. Slav for Slav for Slav for Ella or Slavavella? I have no idea if I'm supposed to say the four or not. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not good at, at lead speak. The autumn player has locked another deck. We do have the R deck, which means revolution. We got Yorick, Silk Road, Land Grab, Yorick's Food, Food, Wood, Coin, Coin. That looks like a, at least a fast fortress. I guess you hear some dead hyenas. We got cows. Sabeki, Advanced Arsenal, Wood, Endurance School, Sapahi, Cavalry School, Apicular, Royal Mint, Refrigeration, Grenade Launchers, Covered Wagons, Kubeli School, Kuli, Kuleli School, Sabahi, Factory, and Factory. Mexican player has not selected the deck, but it's a good chance he's going to revolt. U.S. deck has America, triple triple X. So we've got capitalism, Dutch immigrant, German immigrants. Got quite a bit of coin there. Plus settler wagons, wood coin, Springfield Armory, Hamilton Economics, Virginia General Sem Assembly, blah. Cigar roller, block houses, wood coin, United States Army, Continental Rangers, Buffalo Soldiers, Rolling Artillery, Refrigeration, Textile Mills, Blaski's Legion, Blaski's. Yeah, the way. Coffee Mill Guns, and Kovac's Legion. The Mexican player has the 1x1 deck, which is different than the 1v1 deck. We do not have the Hacienda and two settler independence moves, so likely he's going to revolt in age 2 or 3. Our revolting, Cathedral Construction, Villagers, Wood Coin, Insurgents, Saltieros, Advanced Arsenal, Prelos, Net Renegade Navajo, Fort, Liberation March, More Wood, Follow Explorer there, rather than that wagon, Los Colateros Wagon, Insurgents, Heavy Cannon, Chapult, Lecky Castle, Ships of Fort Wagon, Increased Line Side of Forts, Factory, Factory, and the Spanish Sympathizer. We have the Holy Refuge death card being brought in. And we've got the Mountain Warrior, Enlist Irregulars, Holy Refuge, Villagers, Wood Coin, Shrine Wagons, Yumi Archers, Yumi Archer Attack, Ashokara Musketeers, Diplomatic Intrigue, Daimyo, Chedro Trishaws, Villagers, Wood Coin, Yumi Archers, Way of the Bow, Ashokara Musketeers, Close Combat. Ar Yasume Archers, you know, Rush, Flaming Arrows, Flaming Arrows, and the Shogun. Swamp Puppers going on down. Alright, now these are Salt Crocodiles. Salty Lizards. Let's go with that. Alligators or Swamp Puppers? Alli crocodiles? Hmm. What should I call them? Salty Lizards? Maybe? I don't know. You should still say crocodiles of salt water for some odd reason. I don't think that's correct. They're both both alligators and crocodiles are both freshwater and salt water, right? Howdy. Thank you. I think I've seen you you make a lot of messages on Cup Heroes 1 stuff rather than Age of Empires 3. So here's Age of Empires 3 today. And I'm having trouble speaking like always. We do now have the Tory Gates being researched. U.S. has researched the uh, Pennsylvania, getting access to the Philadelphia Convention and Manny Festival. We do have for the Mexican player who's aging up with. It'd be helpful if I didn't switch off them. I can't. The Fox Kala, so he's definitely going to revolt in age two. ¿Quién busca salvación? Oh, that name's actually quite long. Long. But I, I just can't speak today, can I? Either way, Hyena down. The Laughing Doll goes. 
Berry bushes have been alerted. I'm not sure if that means anything. And you will claim some stray doggos. Or doggies. Zabu cattle, so they're actually the African cattle. Yeah, I should just stop trying to nickname all the animals in the game. They're now the artillery foundry and the barracks being blown up by the Japanese player. We may find for a bit of aggression. We do have a shipment of the shrine wagons. This would be deployed by the military rickshaw and the artillery foundry. Oh, no, that's from his teammates. So it looks like going quite a bit of aggression. Probably some obus guns with Ashikaru musketeer support, I'm guessing. Well, good idea to not go for the Yumi archers. Unless he's going for the Gren Grenadiers. Guess we'll wait and see. And yet the Mexican player revolted. How revolting. Gone for the Central Americans, which does not transform all his villagers into warriors. Me the Central Americans, he's going for the triple frontier outposts with it. That's into the blockhouses. Not, not blockhouses. Frontier outposts upgrade. And let's see. Gets access to the ships for soldados. You get a free retard with all future shipments. That's a pretty good one to go for early on. Salvadoran coffee. It says this was shipment, shipment. So there's a one-time shipment of villagers. Uh, revolutionaries become... Settlers become revolutionaries when, as they die. Uh, nope, just four players. It is a 2v2. And the other car, let's see, does have access to town militia. Bring in spies and assassins, shipment or uh, upgrade stuff. Age 2 revolts are not too particularly great. A more be good way to bypass age 3. Blue and yellow massing a force. Got Ashkar musketeers and obus guns. As as we bah, speak, as I predicted. Trying wagons being shipped on in. Going for Junior General Assembly. We've got New Hampshire being brought on in as well, or being granted statehood, I should say. The three outposts are being deployed in defensive positions. Of course, gave them fifty percent extra damage and extra health. So the Mexican player, I think it's going to be under siege first. The US player does have a barracks way up there, but off the side, he needs to start getting out some regulars. There is a bit of army being built here. I don't really look up uh, game journalism. G game journalist journalism is a pretty big joke. Yeah, if I'll just look at Gamergate. We do have now the General and the Padre both went down here. And Yellow made them push way forward. I mean, if you're talking about complex RTSs, grand strategy games are still doing quite well, like Paradoxes, Arts of Iron 4, Installaris. And RTSs, there just simply haven't been any massive releases, at least good releases. Probably the most decent releases that came out will probably be uh, Age of Empires 4, which was a decent release, and Iron Harvest. The problem is when it comes to games journalists, they are just inadequate. They're not, they don't really care about what they're writing about. Yep. Yeah, Gamergate was a shit show. It's just... And if you look at Wikipedia, it's a prime example why you can't trust Wikipedia. The Wikipedia article on Gamergate is the reason why... Wikipedia needs to have primary sources as an option for sources, because they only allow secondary sources. Primary sources are not allowed. Cub wagon being shipped on in, and the Russian-American company, which will give them a pair of blockhouses. I really think blue and yellow can push forward. <sighs> Should 
strangely enough, of all the places that does Gamergate more justice and when it comes to journalism, was well, actually Conservopedia. Probably just would be considered very much in the right wing, but yet can actually cover that non-biasly. Yep. Yes. Apparently, also, when it comes to fact-checking and sources, uh, the news segment on 4chan has a higher standard than even Wikipedia. It's sad how those two sites are much more liable. Oh, the revolution has ended. Ripe in time to be under siege. Frontier outpost under siege. But this is quite a bit forced there, and simply they have not built any sort of defense for us. We got a collection of books, perfect with the need to fight against a bunch of guys with guns and grenades. Books. Yep, and this is what happens if you don't uh, prepare. You lost this general and Padre here, and yet they did not even build any sort of military units. The US player has some military units, but not enough. They solve for the production structures. You know they're going to be aggressive with that. Yeah. Yep, all of mainstream. You got companies like CNN, Fox News, MSNBC. They're all junk. Oh yeah, sweet baby ink. Yeah, that was that's basically Gamergate 2.0. And journalists think they are still on the right side of history when it comes to Gamergate. Oh yeah, they are definitely all dying. We do not have the Grandiers engaging. Getting a great hit there, takes out a couple of the Gatling guns. But the Mexican player is pretty much knocked out of the game. The villagers are trying to migrate around. They're starting to migrate to... Oh, God. They're migrating to the U.S. border. Oh, I should not have made that joke. <laughs> we do not have the Naginata Riders getting ripped apart by the regulars. Obvious guns could bash them in the head as well. The regulars. Which is civilization the best propaganda? Never really looked into the ancient civilization propaganda. I know the most successful, I would say, uh, no idea. The problem is, back then, written rec record was just not really a thing. Scaling guns got blown in field, they immediately get gunned on down. Yeah, I just don't know who which civilization would have the best, uh... And that's the end of the replay. This is Angry Saying. Thank you for watching, and on to the next replay.